you to the members of the assembly, the Senate and the assembly for the opportunity to testify. Um, you know, my name is Vladimir Klejun and I'm a member of SEIU 32 BJ, which represents uh, 85,000 property service workers in New York, including 8,000 airport workers. And up until early April, I was a passenger service representative at JFK for 11 years. Now I'm a first <clears throat> American and I'm a son of Haitian immigrants. I currently live in Jamaica, Queens. Uh, well, we know that uh, from the data that the coronavirus has impacted communities of color hard. Uh, they share my experience as a worker of color, which has shown me uh, two major ways we can address this disparity. First, by providing truly accessible and affordable health care. And the second is increasing power in industries that have a high of workers of color. Um, I personally have worked through the swine flu, the bird flu, uh, the Ebola outbreak, uh, the SARS, and uh, the coronavirus now. And uh, I feel pretty lucky uh, this far managing to stay healthy despite working in those conditions. Uh, but many of my coworkers have, have not been as lucky. Uh, many have become sick and we lost six members uh, six New York members uh, to this virus. And the CDC notes that the lack of access to health insurance and paid leave are two factors behind the disproportionate impact of COVID on minority communities. When uh, compared to their white counterparts, Hispanics are almost three times as likely to be uninsured and African-Americans are almost twice as uh, likely. When uh, workers don't have access to health insurance, they worry about the cost of medical care and avoid seeking medical care unless they absolutely need it. Uh, when workers don't have access to paid leave, they're more likely to continue working sick while not only harming their own health, uh, but exposing their coworkers to diseases like COVID. Um, you know, these are things I've experienced and witnessed firsthand. 95% of my coworkers at the airport are people of color. Uh, the coronavirus has just exposed the difficult choices that we've been forced to make over the years. Um, and for us, you know, this is important because uh, the, this is because the employers at the airport offer such expensive health insurance options that we either forego health insurance or, you know, the trade off of paying our bills in order to uh, pay these high premiums, uh, our, our high premiums and deductibles. And, you know, I have coworkers that are thousands of dollars in medical debt, coworkers that have uh, diabetes, uh, lupus, who pay out of pocket for their medications. And uh, because of the subcontracting system that rewards the lowest bidder, you know, we need to set a standard across the board so these contractors aren't incentivized to cut them in order to win contracts. You know, this is why the state... Uh, the, the state should pass the Healthy Terminals Act, which would ensure that all employers provide airport workers with a benefit supplement that they can use to pay for health insurance. Passing the Healthy Terminals Act would be an immediate step toward reducing racial disparities in health uh, care by helping thousands of uh, predominantly minority workers. You know, I'd also like to talk about how labor unions have played a crucial role in protecting workers, especially workers of color like me. Uh, when I started at uh, JFK 11 years ago, I was making around $7.15 an hour. I had uh, no voice, no benefits, no security, no respect. Um, and I was able to fight alongside my coworkers. And seven years later, you know, we won a union. We won a path to $19 an hour. You know, our unions helped push for proper training and equipment and provided us with avenues to communicate with our management. Um, you know, for example, back in 2014, during the uh, Ebola outbreak, 200 cabin cleaners in LaGuardia walked off the job uh, over health and safety issues. And as a result of that, they were able to get additional training to protect themselves from uh, infectious diseases um, and uh, and uh you know, our unions helped us uh, file OSHA complaints against uh, employers in cases involving handling infectious materials and bloodborne pathogens. Um, 
you know, they're providing us ongoing guidance on how to best protect ourselves from COVID, you know, because at the end of the day, workplace justice is racial justice. It's health justice. And uh, New York should be ensuring that all workers have the ability to collectively bargain 